All right, this is a quick video to explain how to export a Tinkercad design to an STL file. Um, creating this video for anybody that would like to use uh, Tinkercad to understand this process, but also for Miss Walker's math classes that I taught this week uh, that can export their Mugwump design, which you see on the screen right now in our math curriculum. Uh, to an STL file that I can go ahead and print on our 3D printer. So let's go ahead and do a couple things before we export the file. First thing I'd like to do is take a look at our design, make sure that our design is intact, meaning that it's all connected, nothing is floating in midair, all the pieces to the Mugwump are connected, the extra piece, the barbell that I created on mine is connected. Make sure any of the extra pieces you have added to your bug wumps is created or any design that you're using. Make sure that everything is connected, all one piece. Anything that might be floating underneath the bed, make sure that everything is on the zero work plane and ready to go. So right now our mug wump looks like in pretty good shape. So that's going to be a good design to print on our 3D printer. Next thing we want to double check is the name of our design. Uh, I asked all my students in class to go ahead and change the name of their design to WUMP, their last name, and their scale factor. One, two, three, four, or six. I am one because I did not actually scale mine down. I'm going to print the large size mug WUMP. Everybody else made theirs smaller using a scale factor. So make sure that name is there because that name will be the title of your STL file that we will export here in a few seconds. Okay. Once that's all finished, we are set to go. Uh, what, all we have to do, point over to the top right hand part of the screen. There's a button that says export. When you click on export, a window pops up. You're going to include everything in your design. It should be the only default thing you can choose. Uh, there are times where you might only send a selected shape uh, when you are exporting for uh, 3D printing uh, an STL file. But uh, for now, we're going to do everything in our design because that's uh, the, the entire mug wump is what we want to print. So I'm going to go ahead and then click on the button that says .stl. That's the file type that we would like. When I click on that, you're going to see down at the bottom of your screen, it should show a download happening. And that download should happen very quickly. It's actually a quite small file that gets downloaded, the STL file. And I've already done this a few times, so it has downloaded with a little parentheses one in it. But most of yours should say your the word WUMP, your last name, and uh, the scale factor number .stl. This file is now in your downloads folder or wherever you set to download on your computer. Our Chromebooks at school for my sixth graders will download to a downloads folder. You will then open up your email, click on the little paper clip icon at the bottom of your email, and attach this folder or this file, excuse me, to your email, and you will send that to me. Now, there's one last thing, my sixth graders, I would like you to do is I want you to tell me what color you would like your mugwump to be. Those of you that are new to 3D printing, uh, in Tinkercad I have a multicolored design, but when I send this to a 3D printer, I cannot print all these colors unless you have a special 3D printer. Most 3D printers have only one color that you could print from. So my sixth graders, you're going to have the choice of printing with orange, purple, blue, light blue, glow in the dark, green, red, or pink and you may choose one of those eight colors. Tell that to me in the body of your email. If you do not choose a color, I will pick the color and we will get these printed for you. So one last quick review. You're gonna click on the export. You're gonna click STL file. It will download that STL file down here. You will then go to your email, click on the paper clip when you compose an email to me and Select that file, email it to me, pick a color, and I will get these printed. Thank you, everybody. Look forward to seeing our finished designs.